Welcome students. Today we will solve fifth problem on sectioning. So let us start today's lecture. So we are given one object over here and we are asked to draw its full section front view. This side is the front side of the object marked with this arrowhead. So we have to look at this object from this side. And in this case, we have to draw its front view as a full sectioned. So in order to draw its front view as full sectioned, we have to cut this object with an imaginary cutting plane along this center line or along its length. And when we will cut this object along this center line, we will get two equal parts of this object because object is symmetric about this center line. We will get front half and back half of the object. After cutting, we will remove front half portion of the object which is in between observer and the cutting plane. Then whatever we will left with at the back, we will draw the orthographic image of the left out portion and that will be called as full section front of this object. It means if we want to draw its full section front, first of all we should identify its front view. So let us see how many faces we have to represent in its front view. If you will see carefully, then you will find that this object consists of four elements. This is a cylindrical part over here, placed in horizontal position. This is another cylindrical part, placed in vertical position. Then we have a plate over here, horizontal plate of thickness 10 millimeters. Then we have a vertical plate over here whose thickness is also 10 millimeters. Now when we will look at this object from front, we will see this circular face. We will see this rectangular face and we will see this curved portion as a rectangle for this cylinder and we will see this face. So it means in its front view we have to represent four visible faces and we have to show a hole also in this cylinder. The diameter of that hole is 50 and we have to show it hidden from front. So let us start with the, this circular face first. So in order to draw this circular face, we have to draw two concentric circles. The diameter of the smaller circle is 30 millimeters and diameter of the bigger circle is 40 millimeters. So we will use compass and we will open compass to 20 millimeters as radius for the bigger circle and we will construct the first circle. Then with same center we will construct second circle and this time radius of the second circle will be equal to 15 millimeters. And with the help of compass we will draw the second circle. So after drawing these two concentric circles we will get that circular face. Now whenever we draw any circle in a drawing, we must show the two center lines for that circle. It means now we have to represent its horizontal center line and vertical center line. And remember, center lines are chain thin lines. Now after this, we will draw this curved face and that curved face will be a rectangle of length 70 millimeters because diameter of this cylinder is 70 and height of that rectangle will also be 70 because height of this cylinder is 70. It is 45 plus 10 55 plus 15 70. It means we have to construct a square of 70. But for that first of all we need to locate that face with respect to the first face drawn by us. Now let us see how we can locate that face with respect to first face. Over here we are given one dimension labeled as 88 millimeters. 
This is a distance between the center of this circular face and the center of this cylindrical part. So now what we will do from this center we will sketch a construction line that means continuous thin line of 88 millimeters. So from the center line we have drawn a construction line continuous thin line of 88 millimeters. Then at this end of this line we will draw a center line which represents the center of this cylindrical part which is at a distance of 88 millimeters from the center of this circular face. Now after this we will construct a square and in order to construct the square which is the front view of this cylindrical part we have to first see the level of that face with respect to first face. Now you can see this is the center of this circular face and this distance is 40 divided by 2 means 20 millimeters it is radius radius of outer circle and this total height is of 10 millimeters and this half will be 5 so this total is 20 up to center 20 minus 5 means below this edge this particular portion in vertical direction has a height of 15 millimeters and if you will observe this cylindrical part below this edge the edge of this cylinder is also at 15 millimeters that means this end of this circular face and this edge of cylindrical part are at same level it means what we will do we will align our scale with this point in horizontal position and from center line we will sketch two lines of 35 millimeters in both directions so we will align our scale with this point in horizontal position and from center line we will draw two lines of 35 millimeters on both sides so this total represents a length of 70 which is the length of the square which represents the front view of this cylindrical part now let us complete that face so from this end we will draw a vertical line of 70 then we will draw a horizontal line of 70 then we will connect these two points to get that square this is the front view of this cylindrical part now after this we will draw this horizontal plate so let us see how we can draw this plate this plate starts from the outer circle and it goes to the center of this cylinder see this is the center line this is the center line so up to the center line of that cylinder we have to show this plate so what we will do now from this construction line we will measure 5 millimeters in upward direction and 5 millimeters in downward direction and we will mark two points and at those points we will draw horizontal lines starting from this circle to this center so from this construction line we have marked two points 5 millimeters above 5 millimeter below and from this circular face we have drawn a horizontal line up to the center of that cylinder up to the center of that cylinder now we know when we will draw this plate in the front view then we have to eliminate this part of the circular face because both are merged over here so we will remove this curve and on the right hand side you can see this plate is wrapped around this cylinder it means this edge over here for cylinder will not be visible in the front because it is merged with the plate so we will remove this edge over here then after that we will represent this face and uh, it is very easy we will align our scale with this corner and tangent to this circle why it is tangent look over here 
this is the center of circular face and from that center line this will be the center line at the top and this face exceeds that center line that means this is a tangent to this curved surface so we will place our scale in such a way that scale is placed at this point and scale is tangent to this circle and we will construct a thick line so we have represented these faces in the front view now we have to show this hole as hidden and the diameter of that hole is dia 50 so from this center line we will measure 25 millimeters on both sides and we will mark a point and from those points we will sketch dash medium lines which will represent that hole of dia 50 it is a through hole now we are ready with the front view of this object now after that we have to convert this front view into full sectioned view now in order to convert this front view into full sectioned view we have to cut this object along this center line so first of all we will see is there any opening in the object yes there are two openings one opening here and one opening here then we will see are those openings cut by the cutting plane yes both the openings are cut by the cutting plane so we will convert the dash medium lines of those openings into thick lines so let us observe these openings in the front view let us first observe this hole so when we will cut this hole its edges will be visible to us and we will convert these dash medium lines into continuous thick lines and after that we will observe this opening now when I will cut this opening from center there will be no change because from outside also we see a thick circle when we will cut it from the center again we will see same edge there will be no change so over here there will be no change now let us see other plates which we have cut through the imaginary cutting plane let us observe this horizontal plate now here you can see this plate is not a rib and it is in contact with this cylindrical plate and we have learned in the previous classes that if we have two plates placed in contact with each other and if we cut both the plates then we have to merge the material of those two plates. So this is the first point we have to observe. Second point is that when we will cut this object along this center line then we will remove this complete front half portion of the object it means this edge will be completely removed so for this plate we will see only this length which will be in between this cylindrical part and this cylindrical part it means only this length of that face will be visible to us it means we have to remove this edge and this edge of that plate because it will be completely removed or we can say the material of this plate will merge with the material of second plate that is cylindrical part now after that we will focus on the last plate the last plate is a rib so when you will cut a rib you never merge that rib with any other plates so we will keep it separate and in the rib area we never show section lines so after this we will place section lines in the cut surface so this is the cut surface this is the cut surface and this is the cut surface of the object so in this area we will place section lines and we know section lines are continuous thin lines inclined at 45 degrees to horizontal parallel to each other and equidistant lines so we are ready with the sectioned front of this object now in the next part of this lecture we will draw sectioned front view and its top view on the grid sheet